Hey there beautiful, amazing and gorgeous people. In this video I will give you a quick explanation of what Docker is so you can determine whether it's the right tool for you and your team. To explain what Docker is and how it is useful, let's use a real life example. Imagine we have a hotel. Let's call it the Uranus Hotel. Our gorgeous hotel has a total of three rooms. Three of these rooms are bedrooms. And the remaining space of our luxurious hotel is a combination of a kitchen and the bathroom. This means that, unfortunately, our guests will have to share the kitchen and bathroom. That is terrible. Now, don't get me wrong, I personally don't mind sharing the kitchen and bathroom with other people. But our snobby guests do, since we are charging them $5,000 a night. Now, to put it back in perspective, this is how a computer usually works. In this example, every bedroom represents an application, and our shared kitchen and bathroom represents the computer's libraries and frameworks. Imagine all three of the applications on this computer use Ruby on Rails framework. In this scenario, all three of our applications are happy since our computer has Ruby on Rails installed. But what happens if application 1 needs Ruby on Rails version 1? Application 2 needs Ruby on Rails version 2. Application 3 needs Ruby on Rails version 3. And the Ruby on, on Rails framework that we have installed on our computer is version 3. This would mean that the applications 1 and 2 would stop working because they need a different version of the Ruby on Rails framework. Application 3, of course, would still work because our computer is using the correct version of Ruby on Rails. So, how do we fix this? How do we get all three of our applications to work? I can come up with two solutions. The first solution is to have a different computer for each different application. This would help us install the correct Ruby on Rails framework for each computer. And just like that, every application would be working again. But that would be very expensive. And that is exactly what virtual machines do. They replicate everything over and over again. Is there a better way? Yes, there is. And our best friend, Mr. Docker, will help us. Let's go back for a second and pretend that we still have a hotel. What Docker would do to fix our issue is really quite simple. Mr. Docker would basically go and make sure that each and every room in our ho hotel has its own kitchen and bathroom, and therefore our guests would not need to leave their room. And now, since every room has a kitchen and bathroom, we can destroy the shared kitchen and bathroom, and then build another room. Now, if this was a computer, this would mean that every application would have the right version of Ruby on Rails within its own little space. How nice is that? Another of the great benefits of Docker is that you can grab any of the hotel rooms, copy the room, paste the room into any other hotel as many times as you want. And it will work just the same as it did in the first hotel without a hassle and in a very inexpensive way. There is a lot more to Docker but this is a very basic explanation of what Docker is and does. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.